It's Terrible Being Nice by Gabriel Davis. Don't do it. Uh, don't open that box one more crack. Do not ask me to marry you. Just sit down, would you? And just listen. I can't let you do this to me. I mean, before I met you, I was so mean. I mean, seriously. No one actually liked me. I mean, those people I introduced to you as my friends, they're not my friends. They are scared of me. Or at least they were for you. I mean, before I met you, I never used to tip more than 10% at restaurants. I, I never said please or thank you. I never smiled or laughed at anyone's jokes but mine. Uh, I was, I was cold, cross, crass, falsely compassionate. But since since I met you, oh, I've started to feel warm inside, fuzzy, like I wanted to stroll through the park and whistle. I have these, these urges to donate to charities, to, to hug people. Uh, since I've met you, I have given nearly ten dollars to a homeless man and helped three old ladies cross the street, and I actually bought one of my so-called friends a present at full price, and I knew she'd like it. Don't you see? Don't you see? You've made me nice, and I'm so scared that you're going to open that box and ask me to marry you, and I'll just nicely say yes, and I'll be nice for life. I'll be stuck singing Kumbaya for the rest of my days, and I'll, I'll, I'll give back to the community, I'll give to the, the Salvation Army, to the Make-A-Wish Foundation, and I'll do it anonymously. So, so don't do it. Don't do it. There are millions of nice people in the world. They don't need me to. I am mean, and I want to stay that way. So, so I am asking you, I am begging you, please don't marry me. Like Dreaming Backwards by Kelly Powell. She had chronic depression since she was 12. Her father had depression too, and her sister. I was even on antidepressants for a while when I was her age. But she was very high functioning. She went years without any real incidents, and she had control of it when she was in high school. Then, all of a sudden, Things just fell apart. She spiraled. I asked her to move in with us again. She said no over and over again. And then she was institutionalized last summer. But I, but I thought that it was only a matter of time before she found the the right medicine or the right therapist, and things would go back to normal. That day, we made plans to have breakfast. I, I called her, but she didn't answer her phone. I thought she had turned it off and slept late. So I went to her apartment, and, and I knocked. The door wasn't locked. I went in and... And I found her lying on the kitchen floor. Oh, 
Why didn't she come to me? I would have done anything for her. Anything. Didn't she know that? 